Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, example one here, Lord Christ, uh, bless this video. Uh, but yeah, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a limit that's very similar to the one we looked at in example zero, but as uh, n goes to infinity as opposed to n going to zero. And of course, I'm talking about uh, sine n over n. So here we're going to try to figure out what the limit uh, as n goes to uh, infinity of sine n over n has to be, yeah? Okay, and this is gonna be much quicker and we don't need a visual for it. Uh, first, uh, remember that uh, negative one is less or equal to uh, sine n is less or equal to one. And if we divide uh, all parts by n, this is what we'd get, right? Okay, now if I say uh, limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 over n, it's clear that it's going to be 0, which is the same as limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n, right? Which is also 0. So we see that the limit as n goes to infinity of this here, negative 1 over n, is 0, and the limit as n goes to infinity of this here, 1 over n, is also 0. And therefore, by the squeeze theorem, if you haven't watched example 0, watch example 0. But yeah, by the squeeze theorem, we conclude that uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of sine n over n is equal to 0. Yeah? All right. Cool. Uh, that's it for this video, uh, example one, and uh, example two uh, to follow, obviously. And the examples after two will pick up in difficulty, like rapidly. So yeah, look out for those videos, but watch example two also. It's pretty interesting, yeah? Okay, cool. Take care.